Hello everybody. Welcome back here. Don't mind my cat. She's just chilling out. But um, this video is about a week review with the Tesla battery system. So this is a 15 kilowatt um, battery. You're not going to be able to use 15 kilowatts because you kind of want to set the threshold of being like, hey, about 20%. It is not going to uh, be draining the battery. So more around like 13, uh, 14 kilowatts. But 15 is what they're rated. So I had these recently input in. Um, I have, I've had solar for a while. But recently, as of August um, 08 or August 8th, 2023, there was a big, huge fire that pretty much took out my power for three days and well here's my solar panels um i have 41 on my house and uh to it right now it is at one o'clock and they are facing on the east side so it's not 100 percent. i am in uh hawaii so we're pretty much at like max load i've already generated 40 kilowatts of uh power which is a lot of power, which is a lot of power. On average, it's about 50 on a normal day. Um, so let's uh, let's go back into the Tesla uh, app here. So I was away when uh, they were installing these and they're like, yeah, you're going to need a prompt and it's going to tell you to download this app. I'm like, sure. And so what's going on here is when I had the Tesla pa uh, or when I had the solar panels, they would just feed into the grid I don't get a credit or anything. I just pay the minimum amount. It would be like every month would be like a hundred negative one hundred and fifty to three hundred negative three hundred uh, kilowatt hours of power. I'm pretty much putting back into the grid. Um, so I'm like paying like thirty bucks a month now. Um, so when the power went out, there was no like power inverter. Now with this, I do have a power inverter. So what's going on here? is you can see that I'm generating 9.6 kilowatts of power, but I'm using 7.2. So right now, I am charging my Nissan Leaf, um, the 60 kilowatt hour uh, battery version, and it's it's just still pushing off into the grid. And of course, as um, as it goes down, it will, uh, as the sun starts setting down and the power, you can already see it's starting to drop because it's starting to get a little bit overcast too. It will start feeding into the battery. Um, the battery itself maxes out at 5 kilowatts. So at full load, um, this would drain in a little under 3 hours um, and all that. So we can see right here I have generated. I find it weird that this is saying um, I have a screen protector on here. That's why it, it is kind of seems like a little polarized. Um, it's saying 44, kilo, 44 kilowatt hours while the... Uh, I use in lights is um, right there saying 39. I find that a little bit weird. Just notice that. So as of today, I have generated 97% of my power has been self-sufficient. So we can click that and then we could see, you know, hey, 77% of my power was solar while 20% was the battery and all that. I'm going to change it to weak here. You can see I'm just still like so far for this past week I have been 96% self-sufficient. Um, the main thing I why I wanted this is because I moved back to Maui and for the, every year for the past three years the power would go out uh, around big storms and all that stuff. So I'm like I'm tired of that. I'm tired of having like 41 solar panels and um, just kind of like not really doing anything. When they're going off. So it, it, I'm kind of impressed by this. Um, things you can do. Let's see. We're going to the settings here. So right now we can um, set it to be. It, they recommend a 80-20. So once it hits down to 20. It will um, it will just stop using. It will stop um, using the battery. And then I don't. I've seen it gone up to 30. And then start draining again. Um but you could just set it up to 100, so it just never does anything. I also also have it um, use stored power to, uh, so it would just, you know, feed off the battery. I, I guess I even, never even noticed that option. 
One thing I really liked about this too was that, hey, because I have 41 panels up on my house, I just hit do not grid charge. Uh, when I do click this, it does give me this warning about taxes and all that stuff. I, I, I just hit yes and it just feeds it off. Um, there was a storm a couple um, a couple days ago that was coming through Hawaii and all the people were like, hey, it, another rainstorm coming through. I'm like, okay, let me just power up this battery just in case. And of course, nothing happened. It was just really, really wet, but not like heavy wet and all that. Um, so yeah, so the guy who installed it, set it up through my network and all that stuff. And I just downloaded the, um, do all that. There's also this storm watch option. I, I'm in Hawaii predicting the weather is like really shitty over here. Um, because it's just, you see a storm coming in and you see it mo like there hasn't been a hurricane to hit Hawaii since like the nineties. And that was a Nikki that hit Kauai. But there is a lot of hurricanes that aim for Hawaii. Last year, that hurricane that that was like during the wildfires was, hey, that was 500 miles south of us. But still, because of the perfect storm of a really low up north and a really high down south, it created a lot of winds. Um, and a lot of s hurricanes kind of just dissipate as they get closer to kind of the islands and all that stuff. Um, so I don't turn that on. Um, but yeah, I, I'm actually really impressed by it. It is really nice to see, hey, um, it just, you know, it, you, you could just see this, just like 99.1 kilowatts, and I'm charging my car off literally the solar panel, so that's pretty cool. Um, that, was, that was the coolest shit I've seen, like when I just had my car, I'm having my car plugged in. Of course, my car takes about 10 hours to charge because it's 60 instead of 15, um, over the course of the night, it will kind of go into the grid. Uh, you can see a kind of a color thing. Um, the green, you will, you'll see green. So once I hit, if I hit beyond like 9.2 kilowatts from the solar, the, the battery will start kicking in and that will deliver, um, up to five kilowatts. And then if it needed even more, it will, it, I've seen it drain, um, from everything. So it is pretty smart it's not stupid um and of course you can always set it to be like hey um you know just just leave this at a hundred and it will you know you it would just your solar panels will still kind of give power uh to your house because it is technically inverting the power to you know 110 and then it, excess will be going to the grid and once the solar goes down you will start pulling from the grid too um but yeah i was really impressed by this um I, the only thing I can think of was that, hey, it would be really cool if it was 30, um, but as as you can see, this is kind of big. It would be really cool if, uh, you know, maybe, because this was $15,000 to buy, and I feel like 15, at the end of the day, um, at the end, of, as soon as the, the sign comes up, uh, I'm about 40%, and I live alone, and I don't do much, so... Anything that requires 220, so charging up an electric vehicle and uh, using dryer will just drain that battery real fast, real fast. Um, but yeah, I'm really impressed by it. I I, I will do a video once this um, once if we ever lose power again. But it's uh, it is pretty common that we lose power. I'm like, and a bonus. But thanks for watching. Again, this is the Tesla battery. This is a 15 kilowatt battery review after a week. I'm impressed by it. Uh, it allows me to fully use the power of my solar panels uh, that I never knew I could. Um, and then bonus cat. Enhance. En enhance.